This video will cover the elbow lever and specifically what some key benefits of the elbow lever are, in my opinion. The elbow lever is a calisthenic movement which requires mainly technique, balance and mind-muscle connection. The strength component plays a small role in this exercise and that is why this move is considered as a beginner calisthenic exercise, which almost anyone can do in no time. That is what distinguishes the elbow lever from advanced skills which also require technique and awareness but require way more strength. The balancing aspect and body position in for example the 90 degree hold works kind of the same. That's why the elbow lever is a great and fun introductory movement. The first benefit of this exercise is like mentioned before that almost anyone can do this exercise after a little practice, making this exercise a good introduction for your calisthenic journey. It is also a fun way of getting to know calisthenics because you can just play around with the gravity while minimizing the strength that is needed. You can even try to do this on elevated surfaces for fun. That is what I did at the beginning. This will introduce the more creative part of calisthenics. Incorporating this next to your basics such as push-ups, pull-ups and dips will make your workouts more diverse and more fun and will help you stay motivated to improve your calisthenic level. Another benefit is that this exercise helps you to find your balance where your body is up in the air in a horizontal position, with your hands at your waistline. This helps you master this component and will also improve your awareness through space. This balance and awareness is exactly what you also need to apply to more advanced movements such as the 90 degree hold or the planche. The third benefit is that the elbow lever will help preparing your wrists. If you're training for skills without having really conditioned them, this sudden stress in an unusual angle can lead to injuries or just uncomfortable pain during exercises. The elbow lever already helps your wrist to adjust to this pushing in a more compromised angle. Because the hands have to be at your waistline in order to maintain your balance. And because the stress is way lower than for example the 90 degree hold, this will be a safe way to introduce your wrist to this. But make sure to do additional wrist mobility work to further safeguard your wrists. And before going into the elbow lever, make sure that you have warmed them up. And lastly, it is important to keep your body in a straight line during this move. The muscle activation you need in order to do this is exactly the same as how you should activate your muscles in many other calisthenic skills. How you should activate your glutes, calves, abs, lower back and position your shoulders and shoulder blades also applies to the 90 degree hold or the back lever for example. Like having depressed and protracted shoulder blades and a posterior pelvic tilt. So record yourself and try to consciously activate certain areas of the body and see how that is influencing your body position. This will build a solid mind-muscle connection which you can use in basically any exercise. So in order to perform this exercise, tuck your elbows into your belly just above your hip bones and place your hands at your waistline and point it slightly outwards to reduce the stress onto your wrist. If you depress and protract your shoulder blades, and keep a posterior pelvic tilt by squeezing your lower abs, your glutes and pushing your hips forward, you only have to lean forward until your feet start to lift off the ground. Pointing your toes helps with activating your legs. Now practice this until you are comfortable in finding and keeping your balance. This is the end of this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content and I hope to see you in the next video.